Hello and welcome back. The last operator within this general list is going to be the vertex map operator or in other words the weighting map operator because this operator deals with the weighting values on each of these vertices on this plane or any other object for that matter. If you're not familiar with weighting within Cinema 4D, let me just show you and tell you a little bit about it. The weighting value is a value between 0 and 1 and it's going to determine how each vertex on this plane is going to be influenced by any deformer. If that doesn't make any sense, let me just give you an example. We do have this plane, let's just add to it any kind of deformer. Let's just hold shift on our keyboard and just add a deformer. Let's just say a twist deformer. And of course, in this twist, we're going to change some of these values because we want this twist to deform this plane along the X axis. So it's going to be zero in the X axis, 400 in the Y. And uh, let's just rotate it uh, 90 degrees on the banking. And now we go back to this uh, object tab and change this angle value. We are going to be uh, influencing the whole plane by this twist deformer. Let's just get it back to zero. Now, in order to affect a specific portion of this plane by this twist, we need to draw a weighting map. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just select this plane and go to character, paint tool, and then let's just paint on this plane directly. Now we do have these colors, red and yellow, and the color red is going to be the weighting value of zero, and the color yellow is going to be a weighting value of one. So this portion of this plane is the only portion that is going to be influenced by this twist deformer. So let's go back to this twist deformer and just change the angle. Now we are still affecting the whole plane. Now we don't want that. We just want to affect this portion of this plane. Let's just get it back to zero. For this twist operator, let's just add a restriction tag. And in this restriction tag, we do have these slots. Let's just uh, drag this vertex tag to one of these slots. And now when we go back to the twist and just change this angle, notice that we only affecting this portion of this plane which has a weighting value of one. So with this, I hope I made you understand what do we mean exactly by a weighting map. Going back to our operator and uh, when we say vertex map, it's very, very similar to the previous operator that we talked about in the previous video, which was the vertex color. Well, you can watch it uh, by clicking here if you haven't already. And uh, we do have, of course, this tag input port and this index, which uh, correspond to the index number of each vertices on this plane. So let's drag this tag into Expresso. It's an object. And uh, let's just connect it to the tag. And uh, of course, this vertex map has two jobs. It's going to set a weighting value to any vertex and of course it's going to read a weighting value from any vertex. We have a third input point, the value, which we can uh, give a weighting value to any of these vertices. So let's just add a constant to determine how much of a weighting value that we will give to a vertex. Now let's just give it one. So we do have the color yellow. And of course we can use this constant or we can use a very complex iteration setup. So once we add this constant to this value and we do have a value of one. So if we just get closer to the first point on this plane, it already has this color yellow because now we are feeding this value in this vertex operator with the value of one. And this point has the index number of zero. So it's taking the value one from this constant add so notice that when we just cycle through the index number of these vertices 
all of them will have this value of one because this vertex operator is, is going to be controlled by this value and we do have a value of one now. Last thing we will say about this vertex map is that we are able to read out the weighting values and of course we can read out the count of the vertices on this plane or any other object for that matter. Let's just connect this count to this result and of course we do have 2601 vertices on this plane. So that was it about the vertex map operator. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next.